Hello, in this video, I will go over the alphabet in Spanish by giving you words to help you hear how each letter sounds. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn the notifications bell on. So for A or A, we have airplane, avión, avión. For example, I am going to travel by airplane. Voy a viajar en avión. Voy a viajar en avión. For B, we have mouth, which is boca. Boca. To use it in a sentence, you have a big mouth. Tienes una boca grande. Tienes una boca grande. And just like in English, this can be an insult to someone in Spanish, meaning that you're telling them they don't know when to keep their mouth shut. For C, we have house, which is casa, casa. So to use it in a sentence, I am going home. Voy a mi casa. Voy a mi casa. Voy a mi casa. For CH combined, we have pepper, which is chile. Chile. To use it in a sentence, I like pepper in my meals. Me gusta el chile en mi comida. Me gusta el chile en mi comida. For D, we have finger, which is dedo. Dedo. To use it in a sentence, don't point your finger at me. No me apuntes con el dedo. No me apuntes con el dedo. For E, we have elephant, elefante, elefante. To use it in a sentence, elephants are big. Los elefantes son grandes. Los elefantes son grandes. For F, we have flower, flor, flor. To use it in a sentence, he gave me flowers. Él me dio Flores. El me dio flores. G, we have cat, gato, gato. To use it in a sentence, I don't like cats. No me gustan los gatos. No me gustan los gatos. For H, we have ice, which is hielo, Yellow. To use it in a sentence, I like ice in my drinks. Me gusta el hielo en mis bebidas. Me gusta el hielo en mis bebidas. For I, we have church, which is iglesia. Iglesia. To use it in a sentence, I go to church on Sunday. Yo voy a la iglesia los domingos. Yo voy a la iglesia los domingos. For J, we have giraffe, which is jirafa, jirafa. To use it in a sentence, the giraffe is tall. La jirafa es alta. La jirafa es alta. For K, we have koala, which is koala, koala. To use it in a sentence, koalas are gray. Las koalas son gris. Las koalas son gris. For L, we have lion, león, león. To use it in a sentence, the lion is the king of the jungle. El león es el rey de la selva. El león es el rey de la selva. For the two L's together, we have key, which is llave, llave. To use it in a sentence, I need my key to open the door. Necesito mi llave para abrir la puerta. Necesito mi llave para abrir la puerta. For M, we have apple, which is manzana, Manzana. To use it in a sentence, apples are delicious. Las manzanas son deliciosas. Las manzanas son deliciosas. For N, we have children, which is niños. 
niños. To use it in a sentence, the children are playing. Los niños están jugando. Los niños están jugando. For the end with the little tilde on top, or ñ, we have año, año. For this one, I had trouble coming up with a word that started with ñ. So you get año, which means year. To use it in a sentence, this year was a lot of fun. Este año fue muy divertido. Este año fue muy divertido. For O, we have bear, which is oso, oso. To use it in a sentence, the bear is brown. El oso es café. El oso es café. For P, we have cake, which is pastel, pastel. To use it in a sentence, I love cake. Me encanta el pastel. Me encanta el pastel. For Q, we have cheese, which is queso, queso. To use it in a sentence, I love to add cheese to my pasta. Me encanta ponerle queso a mi pasta. Me encanta ponerle queso a mi pasta. For R, we have mouse, which is ratón, ratón. To use it in a sentence, the mouse likes cheese. Al ratón le gusta el queso. Al ratón le gusta el queso. For the two R's together, I also had trouble coming up with a word that starts with a t with two R's, mainly because in Spanish when you have the two R's and it's at the beginning of the word, you can just use a capital R and that can re also represent the double R sound. So for the double R, you get carro, carro. To use it in the sentence, the dog wants to play with me. El perro quiere jugar conmigo. El perro quiere jugar Conmigo. For S, we have frog, which is sapo, sapo. To use it in a sentence, I don't like frogs. No me gustan los sapos. No me gustan los sapos. For T, we have turtle, which is tortuga, tortuga. To use it in a sentence, turtles are slow. Las tortugas son lentas. Las tortugas son lentas. For you, we have grape, which is uva, uva. To use it in a sentence, grapes are small. Las uvas son pequeñas. Las uvas son pequeñas. For V, we have cow, which is vaca, Vaca. To use it in a sentence, cows give us milk. Las vacas nos dan leche. Las vacas nos dan leche. For W, we have Wisconsin, which is the state where I live. And in Spanish, it would just be Wisconsin. Wisconsin. To use it in a sentence, I live in Wisconsin. Yo vivo en Wisconsin. Yo vivo en Wisconsin. Wisconsin. For S, we have saxophone, which is saxophon, saxophon. To use it in a sentence, he plays the saxophone. Él toca el saxophon. Él toca el saxophon. For Y, we have yo-yo, which is yo-yo, yo-yo. To use it in a sentence, he plays tricks with the yo-yo. Él hace trucos con el yo-yo. Él hace trucos con el yo-yo. And for Z, we have fox, which is zorro, zorro. To use it in a sentence, the fox is smart. El zorro es inteligente. El zorro es inteligente. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and turn the notifications bell on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.
<laughs> oso. Toad, it's like a, if it's the masculine, right? Or frog. Yeah, but once, once the guy and once the girl. Can you be a girl frog and a boy frog? Because I thought one was one, and okay, whatever, I'll just say frog. Jojo. Yo-yo, is that in English? Like yo-yo mama? For S, we have saxophone. Saxophone, did I say that right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 